Okay, this is where I'm gonna start the next vlog section thing. I am planning on hoping to get to read at least a couple volumes of Food War. I am like two pages into volume seven. I know at some point I'm hoping Alice in the Country of Clover, Cheshire Cat Walt 7 is supposed to show up. I don't know when, but if it shows up at a decent time today, I'll probably pick that one up immediately. I'm, I, I like Food Wars. I like the food in Food Wars. I just, for whatever reason, it's not capturing my attention right now. So after I finish this one, I might, might just go ahead and start rereading Fruits Basket just because I know my being might enjoy that one a little bit better. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys know as things happen. So here starts part two of Fall into Manga Love. Yeah. Your guys' life is rough. Volume seven of Food Wars. I've just completed it. We are in the middle of the fall classic again. We have seen a good chunk of the judging, but we haven't seen the results for Soma's group. I like seeing all the different variants of curry dishes. Each of them are very unique in their own way and just the way the judges describe the dishes and then some of the recipes inside. I do like curry. Not It's not my first go-to, but some of these sound really interesting. Not necessarily sure I could execute them myself, but they do have elements that I, I would definitely think about doing. Before all of this even went down, there was an apple risotto in here. I think it was in the last volume that I might have to go back and give a shot, especially now that it's fall, it's apple season, and there's a lot of those, those stands and those orchards that are, are giving away apples right now, and it just just sounds good. It sounds fall-like and I want to try it. So other than that, I, I I don't have any other update. Book still hasn't arrived. It'll probably arrive maybe sometime this afternoon. Fingers crossed. I got the notification that it should arrive sometime today, but who knows. I did also um, manage to get the first couple days vlogs put together they are currently being processed by YouTube, so that should be up shortly, hopefully. It's it's a long one. It's like 50 minutes. That's usually why I don't like shoving a whole bunch of days together and why I usually sit with daily vlogs because they're only about like 10 minutes and people can just like gobble them up in sections. But I, I'm looking at the list of videos I need to do. I... I don't know how I'm gonna get everything done. I mean, I could release a couple videos in one day, but I like to give each video their own time to shine. I have the, the not the September, the October releases video that I still need to do, and I don't know how it's gonna fit in the schedule because Sunday I have a whole bunch of live streams. Monday, I'm hoping to get the last of these vlogs out. Tuesday either is a review or a wrap up for this readathon. And if whatever I do on Tuesday, the opposite will be on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, it's October 1st. So I was thinking about doing my uh, wrap up for September, which means I think I'm gonna have to do my October releases. I'm gonna have to record it tonight and edit it tomorrow and get it up tomorrow which I wasn't planning on doing anything on Saturday. I was going to give myself a rest day, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to get it out otherwise. So I have to start looking at my list and, and seeing what things I've got on my list and, and getting that out there. I don't know why I just rambled off about all of that to you guys. But it pertains to this channel, so I thought you might find it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You guys will probably know whether or not that video happens. <laughs> before this vlog comes out, if it comes out on Saturday. Yay! If it doesn't, dang it. it. It might, I might replace that review with the releases. 
but at the same time, I need to get that review done. How how did how did September get this crazy? Whatever happens, happens. I I'll get something out sometime at some point. Thing things will be a thing. That was deep and profound. Wisdom brought to you by April. Volume eight, just wrapped up volume eight. We're in the semifinals of the fall classic. Soma is one of the first rounds and he has to make a bento box. Now I want a bento box. I do like the way that Soma kind of, he's really good. He's not the best, but he's also one of those people who likes losing because then he learns things. He is taking a lot of the other students and the a lot of the other chefs techniques and he's starting to incorporate it into his own style. And he's starting to get this appreciation for flavors from different places. And so he's, he's starting to develop this desire to go around and pick up everybody else's technique and style and flavors and incorporate it into his own, which is kind of like what his father did. And so I can see how, how they're related and I kind of really like it. So that means I need to move on to volume nine so I know whether or not Soma is going to move past the semifinals. We will see because he's up against a very highly respected gastronomic student. And I don't even know if that's the right way to say she does gastronomy, but I'm going with it. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to get back to work. Hopefully I can get through another volume of Food Wars. I know that Alice in the Country of Clover, volume seven, is in my mailbox right now, I'm trying to decide if I'll be able to run out there and grab it at some point or not. It's kind of really warm outside and I don't wanna go outside and I'm just like that. So it might be one of those things that it gets picked up later tonight and maybe I'll read it tomorrow if I don't get a chance today. So I'll see you back for the next update. I just recorded my October releases video and I didn't realize how many books are being released next month. Not just book books, but manga and coloring books is going to be a busy month for me. I knew I had a lot of books that I needed to get reviews out especially on October 6th, but I didn't realize how many books were being released. So I feel like the whole like publishing industry is really starting to amp back up. Hopefully things mellow out a little bit because I don't know if I can keep up with it if this is gonna be the case. I am hoping I get all of those re reviews done next month, but I don't know. I am just color coding the video now. I'll probably edit it tomorrow at some point but I'm gonna get back upstairs. Decided to do this instead of eating lunch, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna get back to work and we're gonna carry on. In the last update, I think I called the last round of the fall classic, the semifinals, I'm wrong, it's the quarter. So we get the, the, the second round of the quarterfinals. Uh, we don't know how it's gonna end up yet. It just started, but we do know who two of the semi-finalists are. I think the only thing that really got me in this one was some of the butchering and animals used. I, I know that different cultures use different meats. It's a thing. But sometimes seeing those things butchered is kind of a, an experience. So that happened here. I am now going to put this down, possibly start 10. At some point tonight, um, I'm going to be playing some board games with some friends of mine. So I am not 100% sure how much more reading I'm gonna get done. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know. Well, I'll come back with an update and I'll let you know if I read anything, but we're gonna be playing uh, Betrayal Legacy, which is an absolutely amazing game. I'm really, really enjoying it. So that is going to be Friday night, most likely. But if I do pick up another volume, I will definitely hop back on and let you guys know. So it is now Saturday. I did not get anything more read last night. We ended up playing a very serious game of uh, Betrayal Legacy. I did end up getting Alice in the Country of Clovers in the mail. So I'll probably be reading that today at some point. I do have my video that I want to edit and upload today. Don't know when I'm gonna do that because we also have to do some grocery shopping and some other things. But 
My plan is to do a lot of reading today because it's second to last day, which means I either have today or tomorrow to read through a whole bunch of things. I think my goal right now is to finish Food Wars. I'm not even gonna think about Fruits Basket. I think that could be something that's gonna save for whenever we do this again. I don't think it's realistic for me at this point. It was something fun to think about. I just didn't realize how I was going to be feeling this week and all the things that were gonna happen, but that's okay. So the goal is to read Alice in the Country of Clovers, seven Cheshire Cat Waltz, however you wanna call that thing. And then up through volume 15 of Food Wars, because I also realized that it was through 15 that I was holding up for the TBR video and not through volume four. I sometimes, I don't understand myself, but that's beside the point, I guess. I have to go let the dogs back in, but otherwise I will see you as soon as I have an update. Can you say hi? <laughs> it's like, I don't know what you're trying to make me do, woman. So I just finished, I'm just gonna throw the manga around. I just finished volume 10 of Food Wars. We have just finished the quarterfinals and Soma is about to face off against someone who likes to imitate other chef's dishes. Pretty much stalks them for an extended period of time, learns what they're gonna be making and then all the things that they do to make that dish. And then he improves it in his own mind. So he is more of an imitator. He doesn't ever really come up with his own dish. So Soma has challenged him to an extra special match for the semifinals, which means either he's gonna get everybody else's chef's nice back or he's gonna quit school, depending on how the match goes. So it is fairly interesting. They're, they're gonna be doing beef stew. I'm pretty sure that Soma is going to win somehow. It's just gonna be interesting to see how he wins and, and how he corrects the mindset of the chef that he's challenging. But I am actually not gonna go right into the next Food Wars. Since I have volume seven of Cheshire Cat Waltz, I'm probably gonna do this one next. But before I even start into this one, I have my anticipated October release video that I wanna edit and get up. So that's up at an, in a timely fashion. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna edit that. And then once I get this one read, I will stop back in and tell you my thoughts. So I just finished volume seven of Cheshire Cat Waltz. And did I get any of the answers I wanted? No. I know a little bit more about her sister now. There were some flashbacks and things. Didn't get the full answer. And then I'm left a little bit confused because the kind of side story at the end implies some things that happened in the country of heart. But why wasn't that referenced in the country of Clover. I'm so confused about timelines and series of events and the reality of, you know, everything in here. And I'm starting to just think that, you know, you're not supposed to put logic to any of this. This is just a piece of fiction for young girls who love swoonworthiness of males and relationships and don't really put a whole lot of logic to anything. <laughs> which I guess is really appropriate for Alice in Wonderland. It's like dream trippy to the extreme. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to actively look for any more in this series. If I find them for like a dollar or so at the library book sales or things like that, then yeah, sure, I'll probably pick them up because why not? But I, there's, I, yeah, so. This is done, yeah. But with that done and out of the way, I'm gonna go back into Food Wars with volume 11 so that I can see if Soma actually gets to continue on in his food journey or not. Let's be real, there's like 17 other volumes in this manga set, so it's gonna end okay for him. But it's gonna be interesting to see how that happens. So I am hoping to get this one done today and then finish maybe the last four tomorrow. 
Maybe I'll start in on volume 12 tonight, but I don't know. Just going with the flow. Also, can you see the little kitties on the sound system? They are so stinking cute. Just slapped myself in the face with this book. That's fine. I finished it. And of course, we have a tie, which means instead of like an actual final with two people, we, we've got a final with three people, which is dumb because their whole like judging system seems a little wonky. A lot of times you have like different things that you're rating each dish on so that it's a number value, not just, you know, voting for the best dish. And they even have an odd number of judges, and yet somehow they decide that, you know, a tie is a good thing to do, and, you know, final three-way is a good idea. It's just, it's just dumb. I know it's done because we want, you know, Soma to go up against these two really, really great chefs, but still dumb. Still dumb. But with that, I am probably going to call it for tonight. I, I don't think I've got any more reading power in me. I've only got, let's see if I can pick them up. I can't. I've only got these four left. I think I can, I can read them all tomorrow. I think that's more realistic for my brain power. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I've got a couple of live streams that I have to do. So I'll probably talk to you before and after those kind of things. And then whenever I finish any of these. Yeah. Got the uh, just out of the shower wet hair, but that's okay. I didn't end up reading any more last night. So I do have, hi baby boy. I do have those last four volumes of Food War that I want to get read sometime today. But as you can see right now, I'm getting set up for my coloring live stream. So I'm gonna do that first. We're gonna see how long I can actually go because we've had some, uh, thunderstorms roll through here today. And so if one of those picks up again, I'm probably gonna have to cut the stream short. I think between my live streams today, because I'm doing a live stream with Shay over at Shay Geeks Out for our book club book. This is our once a month shindig thing. So maybe between those two live streams, I can get maybe one volume read. I'm gonna need to get food in my stomach at some point between those. So. I don't know how much reading I'll actually get done, but then after that, I can kind of just sit down and read through the last of the Food Wars. I, It's official now. I'm not gonna be touching Fruits Basket, but that's okay. I can save that for the next round. Otherwise, I am going to get into figuring out and setting up everything for the stream, and I will get back to you probably afterwards to show you what I did. And this is just a black and I, I just happened to choose the black and the polychromos line, but you could pretty much use any black. Okay, so this is where I have ended the stream at. I've gotten this little section done and all of that vine work done. It's hard to believe that took me an hour and 15 minutes to do, but it took me an hour and 15 minutes to do and absolutely every single one of those colored pencils because I'm crazy. But I am liking where it's going. But at this point, it's time to think about food and getting myself ready for the next stream. Maybe I'll get a manga read, maybe I won't. We'll see. So I'm just about to get ready to start my live stream for our Tell It Again book club so we can talk about House of Salt and Sorrow. But I did manage to finish volume 12 of Food Wars. This is the start of the finals round between all three of these contestants. They're, they're dealing with Pike and Soma has just put his dish out and uh, he's got a little twist. I don't know how it's gonna all play out because it course left at a cliff. I didn't get to read as much as I thought I was going to get to read because the great British baking show <laughs> is starting on Netflix again so we had to watch 
the brand new episode. And I'm super excited about this season because I just love that show. I just love it. And I'm okay with waiting each week for a new episode. I mean, I get to watch it without commercials. It gets to up the anticipation. I'm just excited. Just so excited. Anyways, I am going to get finished setting up for the live stream. And then, of course, I will get back to you guys when I read more volumes. I've only got three left. And then that will be the end of this readathon. It's been a week, but I'm excited. So this month we read House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I'm going to switch this so I feel more like myself. Hold on. There we go. That's better. So, yeah. Well, House House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sneeze. <laughs> sorry. I'm a chaotic mess today. I'm sorry. Anyways, April and I both ended up reading this last year and absolutely loving it. So we decided we've been kind of disappointed in the last couple newer picks that we picked for <laughs> Tell yes. It Again that we thought we would revisit and a fall gothic favorite for both of us. Just got done doing the live stream with Shay. I think it went really, really well. And I am excited about next month's book. We're reading The Shrike and the so Shadows. Shrike and the Shadows. I believe that's the title of the book. It's a Hansel and Gretel retelling, so I'm really kind of excited about it. And I think it'll fit perfectly into the whole fall atmosphere that is going to be October, which I, I really, I am, I am holding back so much from decorating my bookshelves with all of my Halloween stuff right now. If you look politely in that corner, you can see uh, Mr. Uh, book Skeleton just kind of peeking out right there. And I've, I haven't put him up yet, but he's there because I couldn't help myself. He's kind of in the background, but I did just get done also filming a video that is going to be an announcement for the membership program that I'm hoping to launch soon at this point. We'll see. I'm kind of excited about it. But otherwise, I'm going to go and I'm going to attempt to finish my last three volumes of Food Wars. And then I'm going to call it for this readathon. I think it's been a great week. Hopefully, I can get these three read, but you will know soon. <laughs> I'm just going to randomly make faces at the camera. I've just finished volume 13 of Food Wars, which means I've only got two more to go. At this point, all of the chefs in training are now being farmed out to other restaurants so that they can learn more about the real world and how kitchens work and all of that. But they're expected to leave their mark on each of the kitchens that they touch. We've just gone through the first week of that and some interesting things have happened and we're about to start into the second week where they have been shifted to other restaurants. So I am going to call this one done and I'm going to pick up volume 14, which is over there and I can't quite grab it in a nice way. And my hair is just going all over the place. What, it, what is it even doing? This, this is why I don't curl my hair very often. That is fine. <laughs> it's all good. But anyways, I am going to go and grab volume 14, finish 14, read 15, and then we'll be done. I have finished both volume 14 and volume 15 of Food War, which means I have officially finished all of the volumes that I own. We have here, Soma has completed his uh, internships and he has started accepting all kinds of different challenges and they're now doing their school festival. And if they are in the red, they're going to be expelled from school. And right now, Soma's booth is in the red. How is it gonna end? I don't know, but I do know now I want a pork bun. That's all I know. But I really did like all of the food stuff within this story. I might try and find a way to continue this series digitally at some point, just because I really need to know some of the backstory with his dad, because I think there's a lot more there. However, I am going to end my Fall Into Manga Love reading here. This is the last of the vlog. I've had a lot of fun getting into all of these. Let's see, I've read 20 volumes of manga at this point. 21. I think it's 21 because I read four today and I was at 17 this morning. So 21 volumes of manga. I'm probably around 
three, four thousand pages, something like that. I don't even know. I don't even know. I will have the totals, of course, down in the description. And of course, I am hoping to do an official wrap up of everything at some point so you can look forward to seeing that. But this is where I'm gonna end this vlog here. And I hope that if you aren't subscribed, you'll subscribe. Just some, you know, plugging of my channel since you're here. Otherwise, I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.